This is really unfair, guys. You can't take my it's really unfair. I've done nothing yes. wrong, Mac. Mac. I've just done nothing this wrong. This is really unfair, guys. Mac, I've done nothing really wrong. unfair. Mac. Arrested. What for? What's he being? What's, what's he being arrested for? I've done nothing wrong. Tell us what he's being arrested for. What have I done? What? Just tell me what I've done. Stop. What? Stop. Why is he being arrested? Sydney, Australia, and this is what happened. <laughs> Just a quick language warning for this second part of the video. There are some F words in it. Um, so please be wary. You can skip the next probably 10 seconds if you do want to skip it. Ladies and gentlemen, so welcome back again to a different opinion. I hope everyone's been well. Yeah, look, as you can see in those videos, it is absolutely ridiculous that this is happening in freaking Australia, okay? And to me, you know, anyone who is celebrating any of these attacks, so I don't care if it's attacks against the Palestinian people, attacks against the Israeli people, it just shouldn't happen. Like, why are there people celebrating it? There are politicians in America celebrating this. There are people on the streets cheering for this. There is even a porn star, Mia Khalifa, who I believe is Lebanese, who is cheering for this as well and making jokes at the Israeli people. Do I think it's okay for, the, for Hamas to kill innocent people in Israel? No. Do I think it's okay that Israel is killing innocent people in Palestine? No. So, like, why is this even happening? Why did it have to go to this sort of conflict? And I guess that's what's sad, is that this happened in our countries. This is happening in the UK, this is happening in America, where there are pro, you know, Palestinian rallies going on, cheering for this stuff. I mean, as you heard in the video, gas the Jews. I mean, language warning when it comes to the second half, F the Jews. What the heck is going on? Now, that brings me up to this one here is Avi Yamini, who is a Australian journalist who also is a dual citizen with Israel. He is going to go back to Israel and he is going to actually report from the ground. He is Israeli and I believe he is Jewish as well. So, you know, obviously, hopefully he is just straight down the middle when it comes to the reporting. But there is a lot of things that's happening at the moment as well. So, I mean, people are coming out and saying that, oh, it's only Israel who are the terrorists and the people killing people. No. And then there's only people coming out saying, you know, whatever Palestine's doing is just absolutely wrong. It should never have happened. Yes, I agree. Innocent people have been killed. Innocent kids have been murdered. Women have been raped. This is just disgusting. And yeah, it's horrible that anyone is choosing even sides. When we are not involved in this. We are not involved in this. Why are people over here in Australia, in the USA and everything choosing sides? If you are not from those countries, why are we getting involved? Why are you trying to put your two cents in? I mean, there were even signs saying Jews for Palestine. And then you have a look at this video. This one here on the screen. Literally Jews for Palestine. And then you go back to the video here, right? What, what do they say here? Gas the Jews. Gas the Jews. That is what they're saying. And then people come out in America saying Jews for Palestine. The humorous is ridiculous in some people. They just don't understand what they're even cheering for. They don't understand what they're supporting. No one should ever support war, in my opinion. It is horrible. Like, nothing ever gets really resolved. There will always be resentment. I mean, this war, this conflict between Palestine and Israel has been going on before we were all born. It's going to keep going on. And all we can hope for is that there's some sort of peaceful resolution that can happen and it doesn't seem like it will happen. And this man here being arrested for having an Israeli flag is ridiculous. They're not arresting people showing Palestinian flags or screaming, you know, gas the Jews. They're not even arresting them. As you can see here, police are just standing there allowing this to happen, which is, you know, great for freedom of speech. But even though in Australia, 
you can be arrested for calling someone fat or, you know, cyberbullying someone. So, you know, saying rude things online. Why can you not arrest people if they say F the Jews, gas the Jews, literally saying for them to die? But that's okay. But oh no, don't you dare call old Susie or old Johnny Boy fat online because that could hurt them emotionally. What a ridiculous country we live in, in Australia and countries like this where they just pander to one side. It is just absolutely insane. And for this man to be unlawfully arrested, it's just ridiculous. I mean, more and more you see Aussie police just tiptoeing and, you know, oh, I'm going to arrest this guy even though he's not doing anything illegal. It is up to the police to police, yes, but at the same time do it legally. Don't just arrest a guy because he's waving an Israeli flag. You're not going to arrest them, like I said, if they're waving a Palestinian flag. It's ridiculous. And then just to finish it off, just for everyone who is on the left and is, you know, going for Palestine or whatever side you're on, because at the moment, I do not care about whatever side you're on. All I care about is for there to be peace, to this stop. There are too many kids dying over there. There are too many families being destroyed. There are too many lives lost just because... Of what's going on right as you can see barack obama all americans should be horrified and outraged by the brazen terrorist attacks on israel and the slaughter of innocent civilians we grieve for those who died pray for the safe return of those who've been held hostage and stand squarely alongside our ally israel as it dismantles hamas as we support israel's right to defend itself against terror we must keep striving for just and lasting peace for israelis and palestinians alike i guess all we can hope for is a bit of peace Right, I mean, you could see it, it seemed like a video game, really, where there were literally people paragliding in from the sky, shooting people at festivals, um, abducting them, all these type of things to people at a, seemed like a music festival in Israel. It's absolutely insane. Like, if you think, some people are trying to say that, you know, the defense minister has come out from Israel and said, you know, we will hunt them down like dogs. And then people are saying, oh, he is so, he is not human. Ruddy, ruddy. They do not like each other. Israeli people do not like Palestinians. Palestinians do not like Israeli people. And for you to think that they'll treat each other nicely is the biggest joke in history. We don't understand the conflict. We're not on the grounds there. So don't act like we know the story because at the moment we know nothing, right? We only know about what we see online because we're not there in person. But anyway, I'll digress. I will not keep, you know, showing one side of the story. I'll just show both sides of the stories because, yeah, at the end of the day, I think we all want the same thing. We want this conflict to stop. We want a bit of peace. But, you know, when you're being attacked by someone, you've got to attack back, and then they're going to attack back, then they're going to attack back. And it's just a never-ending cycle, and so many people are going to die. It is freaking ridiculous. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Yeah, let me know what you think about people cheering this on cheering on you know attacks where kids and families died innocent people died and now it's going to happen the other way around again yeah but anyway let me know in the comments below like the video if you did like it and subscribe below it is the best way for you to support the content support the channel and you'll be able to see my videos thank you for watching and i shall see you on the next one